So I will be introducing to you the Japan Tech Student Exchange Program uh, over here. So please pay attention. So our Japan Tech Student Exchange Program. Now this entire program is actually sponsored by the Japan India Women Forum. It's a very exciting group uh, which has sponsored this particular opportunity for the students that are in India in their third and fourth year, uh, having done the registration, which we will be showing to you at the end of the session. So over here in this student exchange program, we are going to have our live and virtual sessions by professors that are from our Kanagawa Institute of Technology. Now, in this particular program, we will be looking at uh, IoT and technology. Now, as we know, technology is something that is developing and changing, you know, as we speak. So it is very important for us to stay updated. So our uh, program will be looking at various IoT technology using wireless sensors network, virtual reality, sensing graphics, and robotic interaction as well. And by our professors, which are there from the Kanagawa Institute. So the, the JTSEP session shall be conducted. Now, this is an important timeline for the students who are who will be participating in this program. It is from the 22nd of July till the 10th of September. Okay, and the program shall be highly beneficial for the students in really upgrading their technical skills as we are doing our courses in our colleges and universities. Similarly, this would be an upgradation to your current technical skills as well, which are highly you know, uh, required when it comes to when uh, seeking out new jobs. So the Kanagawa Institute and Koto Japan shall also be providing you with valuable certificates, which you can add uh, to your learnings to each of the students who actually complete the student exchange program. Okay, so let me run you through the dates again. So it's the 22nd of July, till 10th of September. Now this is a, a course that has a duration of eight weeks and the course would take place every Friday. The, there would be an hour of session from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. Indian Standard Time. So to make sure that the students are able to participate and the students are able to join these particular sessions before the, you know, the hour start of our colleges itself. We have kept it at 7 to 8 a.m. in the morning so we can make sure that the students can participate and really breach the benefits of this particular exchange program. So like I said, we will be looking at IoT and systems, technology and IoT and systems, virtual reality and sense of grand graphics, human robotics, and also we will be focusing on the sustainable development goals in technology, which is something that Japan really focuses and emphasizes on in sustainable development living as well. Okay, so some of the benefits of this particular ex exchange program. Now, again, like I said, it's a pretty short, short program of just eight weeks. So this is definitely something, you know, you can grab and really get the benefits of. So it will definitely expand your employment opportunities. So it is an increasingly globalized world, not just Japan and India, but all over the world, uh, you know, there is a requirement. And this particular course will allow you to get the, the exposure. And specifically in Japan, there are are looking for more and more uh, people that can join in with international experiences. So we would be those candidates that can actually help help get this opportunity and join the, the, the workforce over there. We will be interacting and learning uh, with the Japanese professors. So like ev even the Indian education system has its own style of teaching. And similarly, the Japanese teachers will be giving their own uh, you know, experience and styles in education, which is really interesting to learn and also see from. And you will be building a network. So like we tell all our students that, you know, building a network is the backbone of your career. So friends in different countries Countries, you know, after you graduate will not only help you out in seeking your jobs, but you will also get a chance to interact with different professors, different companies and students as well. So uh, post that you will also be learning about the Japanese work culture, you know, how they work, their strong value systems, their festivals, their food, and how the living in Japan would be taking place. We will also be looking at Japanese philosophy, which is really exciting because, uh, you know, sitting behind your screens, you can get a wide global, you know, exposure where you would be learning about the Japanese philosophy as well, like their manners, their etiquettes, customs, festivals, and so on. And post our exchange program, we will also be looking at an educational tour for the interested students who would like to go to Japan and explore their culture and their, you know, have a good experience, which could then lead to, of course, more job opportunities as well.
Now, the Japan Tech, uh, the exploration program here is uh, applicable for the third and fourth year engineering students that are there. So if there are more students that are interested, you can definitely try and participate in this as well. So here you will learning, uh, you know, learn of it, the basics of the Japanese language. We will also have a quick uh, Japanese uh, recap today in the session as well, if time permits. And we will be learning about the Japanese culture. And the H educational tour, which will be an excellent opportunity, where we will be helping you out to actually travel uh, Japan and get to know more about the country. So over here, uh, the timeline again, which is really important, 22nd of July till the 10th of September. So this is mostly highly beneficial for the students who will be looking for a job almost immediately after completing their uh, their uh, course. So which is the third and fourth year engineering students. OK, now the entire program is sponsored by uh, our Japan India Women Forum. But there is a small registration fee that is attached of, you know, 1250 rupees. All right, so this is just a small fee, the professor, the classes, the teachings, everything else is sponsored. This is just a, you know, a very small registration fee that is charged, uh, you know, for you to participate in the exchange program. All right, so this, uh, the, the tech sessions will be with our Japanese professors. There will be uh, the student exchange program that will take place online as well. And then there will be a visit to Japan that will be our goal that we will be focusing on post the successful completion of the course. Now, you might think, uh, why would we consider a, you know, a career in Japan? It might seem pretty far-fetched or it might seem very difficult. In reality, it's, uh, you know, if you're dedicated and if you are really interested in working in Japan, it is an you know it is a bowl of opportunities that you know you can just grab onto so as japan has a shrinking population uh you know employers are really looking for people with uh you know a foreign experience to fill up this particular position and they are looking for 250,000 engineers okay 250,000 engineers required by 2025 okay so 2025 so as we all know that japan is always uh you know when it comes to the highest ranking of high technology and they have a thirst for innovation and technology and engineering so it will definitely be a value addition to your career to kickstart your career and you know develop on on that forward so if you have a bachelor's degree in the relevant engineering discipline the starting salary that we are looking at is rupees 30 lakhs okay so when we are looking at that uh, it could go up to 60 lakhs all right. So this is the starting salary. And as we all know that, you know, um, we do a particular course to have a good career. And this is definitely a wonderful opportunities for the students that are here. So uh, I would like to quickly show you. So, uh, you know, this is our beautiful headquarters. So this is uh, Yokohama that is located 30 kilometers from Tokyo and is the second largest city in Japan and has a population of 4 million people. And uh, Yokohama has the largest number of IT and foreign companies based in the city. This would directly you know, reflect on the opportunities that would be available to you as well uh, when it comes to seeking your, uh, you know, seeking for your jobs. Now, in uh, Yokohama and Mumbai have a sister, uh, sister city agreement that was signed in 1965 of various cultural exchanges. Both the countries are very high and, uh, you know, very heavy on that diverse culture and the economic exchange that has been taking place. All right. So with the introduction of Buddhism in Japan and uh, also many literature, you know, have figures have been moving from Japan and India as well in the past. So this is our headquarters over here. Uh, in Yokohama. So I will be uh, sharing a link with you shortly. This will again give you a quick, uh, you know, a uh, brief of what our course is talking about. So again, it's the duration of eight sessions. All right. Again, this will be from 7 to 8 a.m. in the morning. So if you can fill this out, we have, uh, you know, certain uh, seats that are available for the students. So you could, you know, the quicker you do it, the better that would be. And these are the topics as well. So all the details will be given to you in the link and you can just quickly go through it and do the registration.